What is going on everybody? It is your boy Blank Online back again after a week long hiatus. I'm sorry for going on break for so long. Honestly, it's not something that I want to do, but it's also something that it's a bit inevitable because I don't want to make videos on little nits and bits and pieces that Infinity War is fucking up on. It doesn't warrant a whole video and nothing's really going on with Modern Warfare. No news is breaking, there's playlist updates, but who the fuck cares about playlist updates? Like there's little bits and pieces here and there and there's just nothing really to make a full video about. But today I thought I'd talk about what I'd like to see in Season 2. With Season 1 coming to an end and wrapping up, uh, I want to talk about what I'd like to see in Season 2 in terms of content and theme and stuff like that. Season 1 wasn't bad. And it wasn't great either, like it, it was okay is, is the way that I'd put it. I like how they did a really big content drop, I like how they gave it all for free, I like um, what they did with putting the weapons in the battle pass for free, I don't agree with the way they did the battle pass and I don't agree with the way that they changed the maps that they remastered. But, you know, we, we get what we get and um, uh, season 1 was okay. And, and it wasn't great either. So with season two, I'd like to see some really big improvements and I'll talk about what improvements I'd like to make right now. So one of the main things that I want to see in season two that we didn't get in season one is not about content and it's not about like, like what content is in there rather. It's about how they spread out that said content. And I think the thing we got with season one, as I said, we got something really big then we got something small. And we got nothing after that. So what I'd like to see here with with season two of Modern Warfare is you can have that big push at the start. Obviously, you have to with the hype. So your remastered maps, your operators, your battle pass, your new weapons and all that sort of stuff. Have that big bang at the start. In the middle, have something there as well. And then at the end, have something there as well. Now, you could argue that that was there with season one as well with the extension with the crossbow. But honestly, it's not enough. Like games nowadays it's it's very hard to keep players coming back especially with how little are in our games right now especially with call of duty we look at modern warfare there's nowhere near enough 6v6 maps there's less maps in 6v6 right now in modern warfare than they were in black ops 4 and even black ops 4 didn't have near enough as games like modern warfare 2 black ops 1 black ops 2 like there's not enough content there to keep players coming back because what you're gonna what we get what we have right now at least is we get the same same maps all the time. Hackney Yard, uh, fucking same Petrograd, Shipman, Vacant, Shoot House. It's just the same maps over and over again. And what you find as well is that the only playable maps right now is Shoot House and Shipman. And you can argue for Hackney Yard, but the, like really at the moment right now, the only map that I can play is Shipman and Shoot House. I can only play those two maps. I find myself when I'm, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos, but the only gameplays you see is Shoot House and shipment like all the games and gameplays that i have that are different maps are from earlier on like at the start of the modern warfare uh, life cycle when i played just normal domination 6v6 and i and i was in, there was no shipment and there was no shoot house and that's where those gameplays come from like shipment to me at least and this might be like a, a weird opinion to have is the only playable map because it's the only map that's fast paced enough for me to actually enjoy myself when i play maps like uh, St. Petrograd, and, and when I play maps like, uh, fucking, even Hackney Yard to an extent, they're too slow for me, and, and, and it, that might be some, like, 12-year-old fucking mentality to have to some people who, like, slow and tactical shooters like Rainbow Six Siege or Insurgency or whatever that is, but for me, being a Call of Duty fan and growing up with Call of Duty and expecting a fast-paced shooter, I like having my maps be fast paced. I like my game being fast paced. So Shoot House and Shipment have that for me, which is why they're the only playable maps for me. So what I'd like to see with season two is have a constant drip of content, have a constant drip of things for me to play with and not have the maps be like the original maps were. You can, I can argue and I can tell you right now that all of the maps we got with season one are the best maps that we have gotten in Modern Warfare. Shoot House was a DLC map, one of the best maps in Modern Warfare. Shipment, even though it's a shit house, one of the best maps in Modern Warfare, just purely down to the way it plays and the fact that it's not slow and tactical. Uh, Vacant, I really, really enjoy Vacant for some reason in this game and I didn't think I would, so that's one of the best maps in my opinion. And, and Crash, it's a lot of people's favorite maps. And from, for myself, for example, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, but a lot of people like it. So 
You can argue that all the DLC maps that Infinity Ward are bringing to us are some of the best maps in the game. So I'd like to see that continuum in, in Season 2 and I'd like for more. And, and I might sound greedy asking for more, but you got to keep people coming back. I can't s survive this whole life cycle just playing Shipment and Shoot House. Give me more. Give me more to play around with. I'd love for, for Infinity Ward to bring back maps like High Rise, maps like Terminal, maps like rust even even though rust is gonna be the biggest clusterfuck i've ever seen in a call of duty game it's gonna be some mindless fun fucking bring it back it's gonna be stupid it's gonna be ridiculous it's gonna be the spawns are gonna be awful it's gonna be just something that you want to pull your hair out after playing it but it's gonna be better than saint petrograd it's gotta be better than saint petrograd it's gotta be better than piccadilly anything's better then pick a dilly so i'd love to see more of that just not spread out the content but increase the content that you have throughout the whole entire life cycle of season two and i think that's something that we need to have like back in the day when you had your map packs of four maps and a zombies map coming out every three months that was fine because the base game we had had so much content in it now in modern warfare where we have so little content or at least content that's spread out over so many different game modes 6v6 10v10 ground war gunfight it's hard for players to enjoy that traditional 6v6 to keep coming back and play the game. So, extend that content, spread it out, bring more in, and we'll have a really good season 2. Maps that I'd like to see, I'd like to see it Modern Warfare 2 themed. You heard what I said at the start of the video, or earlier, uh, High Rise, Terminal, Rust, those are the three I'd really like to see. And then sprinkle in a couple other Modern Warfare 2 maps as well. Scrapyard is another one that comes to mind, so... I guess with season one, it was really Call of Duty 4 memes with, uh, themed with the three maps we got. So Crash, Vacant, Shipment, and then make season two Modern Warfare 2 themed, season three Modern Warfare 3 themed, and then you can go on from there with it, whatever way you choose it to be. Um, but yeah, that's something that I'd really, really like to see. Weapons I'd like to see come back. Spaz 12 as a shotgun. I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, UMP 45 I'd like to see come back. Intervention I'd like to see come back. So there's a lot of weapons you can pick there from Modern Warfare 2 that we can see come back. Um, and, and, and honestly, with Season 2, I think that the main thing that Infinity Ward has to realize with Season 2 is that from what they can learn from Season 1 is that, yes, having the biggest drop in Call of Duty history can be very, very beneficial um, to your initial push and to your initial hype. What they have to learn is how to retain that hype and how to retain the players and, and honestly not rely on two maps to, con to, to keep your player base coming back. Because all we see in the playlist updates is Shipment 24-7, Shoot House 24-7, Shoot the Ship 24-7. So it's just those two maps. So Infinity Ward must know that those two maps are the maps that people really, really like and really, really want to play. So why not give us more maps like that? Well, obviously not copy and paste, but like more maps that will play like those maps. Because, man, all we want is is maps that will not have campers in every corner, buildings, doors, windows all that shit we don't want that what we want are maps like we had back in the day and, and that's why the remastered maps are some of the best maps we have in modern warfare is because they were fundamentally built without safe space yes safe space was added to them but they weren't built and they weren't designed that way they were added safe space was added onto those maps by this infinity war team but the core maps themselves played like they did in those games that we all loved back in the day so let's continue on that let's make modern warfare a best of modern warfare game let's do that why not like why not have the best of every single modern warfare game in this game added to us through our seasonal passes and and the thing i want to add on to that as well the battle pass what i want to add on to the battle pass is that let's keep that going let's keep the battle pass having the weapons in there for free so you don't need to pay for the premium pass and let's also tie operator ranks into the battle pass. There's no point having them separately. They're just two separate grinds that makes it even more of a struggle for people who don't have 100 hours or however long it takes to tier up in this game to get the max tier. Can you imagine all the people that paid their money to to pay for the premium pass but don't have the time to put into modern warfare because they have jobs they have work they have uni they have whatever other commitments let's infinity ward 
let's make this change. Let's bring operator ranks and let's bring it to the battle pass so that there's an actual reason for it to reset at the end of each and every season. There's an out, there's a reason to grind your operator ranks because at the moment I have no incentive to. I don't fucking care that I'm level 120 something and I don't care that I can get to level 155 because I know that my rank's going to be reset at the end of season 1. So I have no incentive to if my operator ranks were tied into how fast I level up. Like every single operator rank you level up, you rank up in the in the battle pass. I would be grinding out. I would be trying to get to tier 100 because I'd want to because I know that I can because it's based on XP and it's not based on time played. I wouldn't care if they increased the amount of XP you have to 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 rank up in in the operator ranks. I wouldn't care if that was increased because I know that every single time I level up, I tear up in the battle pass. Yes, I would care if it's excessive and I would care if it's a crazy amount of XP you'd need to get to level 100. But look at the way Fortnite does it. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1 changed it from challenges to levels and I find that system really, really good because it doesn't base it on uh, how many kills you can get with a certain weapon or it doesn't base it on how much time you put into a game. It's based on how well you do when you play the game and I, and I think that's a really fair system and I think that's a really, really good thing to have. So season two, what I'd like to see, Modern Warfare 2 theme because I think that'd be really, really good. A constant content drip, so content throughout season two, not just in certain points and by the end of the season we're just stuck and in a state of flux and nothing to really play for and as well as that for the battle pass to be tied into operator ranks for that to be a really big change and, and that would make operator ranks make sense because at the moment they don't make sense because they reset after every single season so ladies and gentlemen know let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, out of everything that i talked about what is something that you'd really like to see and if you have your own ideas let me know down below let's get this discussion going if you have enjoyed this video make sure you leave it a like and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my modern warfare content coming up and let's hope that there's more things coming up so i have more things to talk about i'll see you guys in the next one peace out